Hey folks, Jonathan here. Monday morning. Actually a beautiful day out. Actually see a little bit of sun. I hadn't seen that in a while. Uh, going to pick up a car. Actually in the record, going to wheel lift it. Uh, just because I had this one parked in where it was the easiest to get out. Because I was out last night. Uh, had to do some uh, recoveries and then uh, I got a T-Mobile truck that had a generator behind it that actually jackknife. Let me get the fog off the camera here. The camera is going to keep on fogging up, I'm sure. But anyway, so we're going to tow in a car and then I'll show you that T-Mobile truck. We're going to run down by the storage lot. I believe it's going to be just about flooded. But I hope this car is here. And I have to see it already, believe it or not. Maybe since you left at the turning lane, and that's not a good sign. It might not be. Ah, no, it's just beside the turning lane. Alright, let me get hooked up to this car and I'll show you. Alright, this one's dropped, ready to go. Uh, it runs fine, revs up fine, until you put it in gear. As soon as it goes into drive or reverse or anything, it just shuts off. So it's some electronic. Anyway, let's get on the storage lot. Alright. We're gonna wait here until we get this uh what my grandson calls a baby dinosaur across the road. The big one. Here, make sure nobody runs him over. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. I bet he ain't looking for water. He's looking for dry land. I tried to tell Graydon that that was a turtle, and he said, no, Papa, it's a baby dinosaur. He knows better than I do. <laughs> All right, we're headed off to another one. So I uh, got the little Ford out, Sheriff's Department called, uh, wanted to know if we had a four-wheel drive record. Of course we don't. We do, but we don't. I need to get off the butt. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go and ride with them back in the woods to look at a stolen car and see if it's going to be possible for me to get this truck down in there and get it up in the small international record. And, uh, but. I'll, when I get ready to go in, if I go in, I'll film it and see if, uh, you know, give you an idea of why I probably need a four-wheel drive record, but anyway, we're going to uh, get on to it now. Alright, folks, we're going to follow the Sheriff's Department here. Let's see what we get ourselves into. I wish I had a place to put this camera. I've got my magnetic mount, but ain't no magnet to put it on. I'll show you when we get to the last spot here. Alright, we're here to claim our prize. Impala stolen. We're going to drag it out so we can get to the front of it. And then uh, get the wheel lift hooked up. It is rough coming in and out. I'm hoping I can get out. Alright.
This is gonna be a fun one. I'm gonna get up there to the first hill, and then I'm gonna have to cut you off. That way I can drive this thing through this stuff and film at the same time. I ain't got no cameraman. This first big hill is gonna be the worst. the first big hill. The rest of it's pretty much downhill I think so I think we've got her got her licked now I hope. We're a good ways back in, probably a mile back in the woods total. left of the car, so we're not too worried about it. It's all flooded down that way. Bad. Water just went over the windshield of his truck. That's how bad it is. Right, we're gonna do a lot of dragging across this thing, but ain't nothing we can do about it. Now, there's a big finale here. This thing here is deep. Okay, we got her here. I've got another one to go do, but I want to go ahead and uh, I want to show everybody, anybody that uses a wheel lift, a little tip that I learned a long time ago because I had to do a lot of off-road recoveries and bringing vehicles in from out of the woods and especially pickup trucks, stuff that are big and heavy. Uh, you know, normally we use wheel straps and as you can see, I've got no wheel straps on here. Now I do have what they call strapless dollies or strapless uh, L-arms, but I, you know, I, I never go by that. I always strap my cars down and, and don't trust them. Always strap your cars down. But what I do when I'm coming out of the woods with one is as you can see I've got a strap around the frame of the car and it's pulled down tight. And that stops all of your suspension bounce and actually helps you keep from getting stuck. It helps the back end of your truck from bouncing up and down so high. Uh, you get too much stuff bouncing back here and you don't only lose traction when you gain traction back, you're liable to break something if you, you know, you're on a rock or something. So uh, that's something I always do when I'm coming out of the woods. But uh, this thing's been sitting for quite a while. Hopefully, we got full coverage. Uh, ah, 2002. That's not good. Oh, this one looks pretty rough. I don't know if I can get it or not. So I looked at it, seen what it was going to take. Uh, I'll show you more of it. She's actually in a hole that has no bottom where she's at. Uh, well, it's got a bottom, but it's about six feet down, it looks like. But I'll show you a little closer when I get back. But I'm going to run and grab some stuff, a couple boards, and enough chain to get to her to get her out from where she is. And then we'll see if we can't uh, get her across there. She just needs to get across and on this side. So. Uh, I just, she wanted me to stop by and give her an estimate to start with, so I just told her what it was going to cost for me to get her car out and sit it on this side of the driveway, and she said, and she said do it. Let's go get some stuff to work with. I don't even know that I can get a jack up on here. I bet you're wondering about that dent. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not, no problem. It's just a, it was just an accident August 3rd, but they have not settled with me. Oh, on fixing it? Yeah. It looks like it's about four or five feet deep at least. Yeah. 
Okay, let's we'll get you hooked up and see what we can do. We've got a heck of a gap we've got to close up. I think if I can keep one wheel on this side right here where it's good and solid, and then we'll ramp the other side. And wish me luck. Let's just put that one. I can't come back any farther. I think I'm about as far back as I can come. I think I'll come another one. Yeah, I'll wait. I might have to come back another foot and a half. I gotta get it out of the hole first. Put the emergency brake on. Washed out. Yeah, there's not much. There's not much right here. Uh -huh. All right. So here's where we're at now. See if we can get this thing on my truck. This might be fine. Car filled up somewhere through there. Hopefully, I got enough of that. Another happy customer. That was the job there. But you can get in the bath. All right. Okay, folks. Here's the uh, generator from the T-Mobile. As you can see, it sheared it back and uh, got the rim, tire, jack. It, Messed it up pretty bad, but it, 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 the truck hit him somewhere in here, and then it jackknifed him. So I'll show you the pickup here in a second. All right, here's the truck. It didn't hurt it bad. A little bit of a dent. But the main thing is, is if you look at the distance between here and here, and here and here, it moved the rear end back, and that tire was real close to it. It popped the tire and bent the rim some. So. Anyway, it wasn't bad, but... Uh, it was enough where he couldn't drive it. He couldn't even drive it if we put the spare on it. So it just shifted the rear. Probably sheared the pan off. So, all right, we got another one to go do. I'm going to unload uh, this car real quick. I haven't had time to unload anything, so I'm going to unload this car real quick, and we got to go pull a tractor out. All right.